Well, now to an exclusive Defenders investigation, finding CMPD officers are frequently tied up on non-emergency calls instead of fighting crime. It's shedding light on a national debate over how police departments should operate. Our team reviewed CMPD data and found officers are spending hundreds of hours on noise complaints, found property and minor accidents. Community leaders say a different police model would free up officers for more serious crimes and could be a cost saving uh, measure for taxpayers. That's got defender Alex Shabbat asking, where's the money? Well, you may be wondering if police don't handle those calls, who will? Well, one of the options is already at CMPD and chances are you've never heard of them. The clock starts after a 911 call comes in. Do you need police, fire, or medic? Police on scene, 94 minutes for an abandoned vehicle. I have a new car sitting in the middle of the cemetery. Almost two and a half hours for a noise complaint. I called the manager for, for the apartment. He says, uh, we have to call the police. More than eight hours, a full work day for found property when people discover something out of place or suspicious. Somebody threw a, a bag behind my yard. But none of those calls resulted in an arrest or even a criminal investigation. I wish I could also get out there as soon as we can. It's just a snapshot of the long list of non-emergencies tying up police in Charlotte. We analyzed CMPD data from a single week and found officers spent nearly 450 hours for the lowest priority calls. That's the equivalent of 11 officers working 40 hour weeks with no breaks. That's just not in taxpayers' best interest, and it ties up the police. Our investigation comes as cities around the country are reviewing police responsibilities in light of civil unrest. Robert Dawkins with the advocacy group Action NC says Charlotte can do better. This data that you've got is going to go a long way to helping us show that. The issue of police reform highlighted in a new report by the United States Conference of Mayors. It says cities should be asking themselves several questions, including how often police are called for property offenses. Drove the car up in my driveway, tore down a fence. During the one week period we analyzed, we found CMPD officers spent the most time on traffic accidents and hit and runs without injuries. That was followed by noise complaints, found property and vandalism. I'm all in favor of looking at that. City Councilman Malcolm Graham says he'd like the city to consider other policing models for the future, which could free up officers to handle violent crime. Charlotte has over 100 homicides this year. So we need our officers kind of really trying to be proactive. According to this U.S. Mayor's report, cities should analyze calls for service to determine who should be the responder in different circumstances. I think that we could find someone else to respond to them. In Charlotte, CMPD says they already have 18 non-police employees called investigative technicians who take a wide variety of incident reports by phone. There's something already in place. Let's see if we can uh, add to it and enhance it. It also could be a potential cost savings for taxpayers. The base salary for a CMPD officer is about $45,000 per year compared to $41,000 for an investigative technician. We can find cheaper more effective ways of responding to the needs of the community. It comes as the city council is moving forward with plans for an independent assessment of the issue. In a statement, CMPD says in part, they are eager to participate in the assessment to ensure the department is serving our community as effectively as possible. Not defunded, but reallocated. If city leaders agree with him about non-emergency calls, they were involved in a parking lot accident. It's possible the days of police responding to those could be numbered. While I was working on this story, I was wondering what rank and file police officers thought about all this. So I reached out to the Fraternal Order of Police, but they declined to comment for the story. In Charlotte, Alex Shabbat, WCNC Charlotte. And if you have a story you want the defenders to look into, email them at defenders at WCNC.com. You can also call or text. The number is 980-2-WCNC-36.